Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sam Letter Squad? How are you guys doing? It's Try Hard Thursday, and I'm playing Erling. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm playing Erling. Because uh, his change makes him actually super, 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 really super awesome, really super good. So, uh, I'm pretty excited to play, play a bit of Erlang today. But uh, I do have to say, I apologize for missing Tuesdays and Wednesdays uploads. I just needed a bit of a mental health day. Days. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, a, l a little bit of a break. Uh, impromptu break. Because I was, you know... I just, I just needed it. All right, well, just go. I just needed it. So, I'm back though. I'm back and we're chilling. I'm gonna go beads so he can't stun me and then I can kill him real easy. Also, my first item is frostbound because I'm an absolute loser. I'm an absolute loser who just wants to get to him and then not get away from him. Now I gotta keep. I gotta remember that my turtle doesn't knock up. Hello. Hey, uh. Okay. Think that scares me? Oh my god, he actually got it. He was not expecting that beat. <laughs> he was he was so Unexpecting that bees is ridiculous. <laughs> he, was, he thought for sure he had me. He thought for sure he had me there. Oh no, man. Uh, I can't get that. Port. Oh no, I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> All right, going for the blue was just super greedy i just wanted to see if maybe i could get it it's really hard for me to get any buffs even with mannequins because i don't have any burst damage all of my burst damage it comes from uh basically my pin and god knows that's not doing enough damage to out secure a mage using her most damaging ability so my secure is not good but um does my turtle do, like, no damage? I feel like that should have cleared. My turtle does much less damage than my mink. Okay. Noted. Where are you? You're already there? Can I fight you? Uh-oh. Damn, bro. That damage, though. That damage, though. I can't stop it. Okay, I need to just stop fighting because I am so far behind, it's absurd right now. Also, I'm maxing the one, but I don't know if that's the right play. I mean, it gives me damage reduction if I hit him, but the problem is I can't really hit him that easy. So I don't know. I will say this is a big jump up in uh in power spike. This is 15% move speed, right? Oh, it's attack speed. I thought it was move speed. What is it is? It's attack speed and move speed. I'm dumb. Your middle tower is under attack. Okay. Well, that is just not okay. You just detonate me for half of my HP and then root me and walk away. I'm dead. Nice. Actually healed. Oh my god. Dude, what do I do here? What do I do here? I'm just getting fucking railed. I'll take this. Your middle 
Forgot I had beads. Okay, that that's that's what I should do. I should use my beads. Because that would probably help even just a little bit. Also, for God's sakes, can I have some attack speed? Okay, Frostbound was a bad decision. I feel bad about it. Um, but maybe, maybe we can work it out. Maybe, maybe it'll be fine late game because my, all my damage mitigation kicks in late game. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, out. There goes all my HP. Interesting. Alright, I got, at the very least, at the very least, I got his beads there and his ult. He also got my beads and ult, but I, I had a fight with him, and I lived, and I broke even. That's good news for the future, because it means hopefully, hopefully, when I'm level 20 and I have all my mitigation, not just a little bit of it, Sorry, I'm running away and I'm very scared. Um, hopefully when I'm level 20 and I have all my mitigation, I should be completely chilling. And I can win the fights. Is that exactly what it means? Almost certainly not. But that's what I'm going to I'm gonna take it as. Got a root. A dastardly root. Um, I actually don't even know if I'm losing this yet. Your technique is yeah. All right. You know what? That did not go well. <laughs> that did not go well, but we did end up getting the kill and it took almost every single bit of brain power I have left in my brain, which just so everyone's aware is not much, but we got it, man. We did it between the damage mitigation of my alt and my one and the, uh, the HP chalice and the multi pots ticking. We did it. Now he did have mid guardian. So killing him through mid guardian I gotta, I gotta tell you, it feels real good. But also, maybe it's just because I have Frost on. I am gonna go Kins right now, and I am gonna also go Blink because I feel like Blink is gonna be massive for me. Because um, not only is Blink, not only is Blink gonna get me close without me having to use my uh, my Mink form, but. It's also going to give me a way out if he uh, if he presses his two button on me. Like, watch. I'll show you. I'll show you exactly what I mean. Never mind. He just ran away. Hello. Boink, boink, boink. All right. I can't even reach you. Why am I so slow? Why was I so slow? Here's the issue. If I blinked on him right now, he would just two three me and I would die under tower, so I can't do that. I have no defense. You guys gotta you guys gotta remember. I am somewhat 
good in the damage department now with Toxic Blade and Frostbound. It keeps me active. But, uh, I, I'll still get one hit. That's the issue. All right, he got Divine. He also got Ankh. I, I think Ankh was a real dumb pickup, which is great for me. All right, you're going to press two on the wave. 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 Press two. Press two. I can't even blink, so never mind. Don't press two. He pressed two. Oh. He is so scared of me, though, because, like, even when he gets the combo off, the two, three combo, he just walks away because he knows he can't win the fight. Oh, I just used turtle for him again, assuming that it would work that way. Oh, I'm dead as fuck, by the way. Oh my god, these things are slamming me. Jesus. Please spawn. Okay, nice. I lived. We are chilling. I can go get Kins, and then after Kins, I'm straight up just going to go Shoguns and uh, Bulwark. Your middle tower is under attack. Mm. Your middle tower is is under attack. Okay. He played that well. He ulted to stop my back and then just realized that he can tank my tower no problem because towers suck. Dude. Each one of these hits me for 60. Holy fuck. His minions? Not even him. His minions did 1,200 damage to me in that fight. What the... What the hell, dude? I'm stacking defense like no other after this item. Catch me going Shoguns in the Bulwark, selling mannequins for, like, Pestilence. Yo, I missed. Oh, man, with Kins? You are certainly not happy now that I have Kins. I feel like my auto attacks actually do damage now. It's not even the fact that Kins does damage. It's the fact that it gives me 40 power and no item I have does that other than Kins. So that's feeling really good. We're going to take tower. We're going to clear the wave. Is your blue up? Not. All right. Fair enough. I'm just going to go back and get Shoguns. Don't show up here or I'll be real pissed. Okay. I'm pissed. There's no way you're actually following me. Just go do Bull Demon, you freak. Why are you following me? This will keep me safe. Okay. You just lost an entire wave of XP and gold. You better hope that you get Bull Demon and get away because I don't know, man. It is not looking too hot for you right now. Hmm. Okay. Well, he did. He did do Bull Demon. I mean, he got it. Is he getting away? No. He's. I mean, he's dead as shit. Unfortunately, I don't know if I have enough time and minions to get Phoenix here. Because the minions were hitting each other for quite a bit. But with Mink Form and Shoguns and everything, I'm hoping. Oh yeah, okay, never mind, we got this. We got it. Now let's go do a red buff. you now yo 
You do not scare me. Oh, man. Even with Midgard, you just can't get away. You just can't get away. I do too much damage, and I'm too mobile. It's probably the Frostbound, honestly, that kept me in that game. If I didn't build the Frostbound, I probably would have lost. Even though I said I didn't like the Frostbound first item, I think Frostbound third item would have been much better. Like, just going straight into, like, Kins out the gate would have been much better. Um, But yeah, that's that so far. Hope you guys enjoyed game one. I will see you guys in game two. Hello, game two. Tsukiyomi, try hard Thursday. You know what it is. It's what I always do. Nothing quite new here. So uh, I do want to say, I, for the first time in my whole life, watched Breaking Bad. And it took me about about a week and a half to finish the whole thing, right? Breaking Bad took us about a week and a half to finish, right? Or was it a little more? It was two weeks, okay. So it took us about two weeks to finish. And you have no idea how hard it was for me not to talk about it. Because <laughs> here's, here's my thing. I don't talk about anything I'm watching or plan to watch because no evil will remain it would be scene. easy for people to spoil something that I want to see, right? Not that I care that much about spoilers, to be honest, but, you know. Minions have huh? With that show, I do, yeah. So I wanted to be careful not to not to say anything, and all, all of a sudden everyone's like, oh my god. Jesse gets fisted, you know? like <laughs> I just don't want to say anything, so... But now that it's over, oh man, I still don't know if I can say anything about it because I don't want to spoil it for other people. I know it's a really old show. Um, I know it's a really old show, but it just came to Netflix like two weeks ago. Oh, it's been on Netflix? Oh. I don't know. Can I... Can I... I don't know if I want to talk about it, though, because I feel I feel like a douchebag if, like... Huh? Help me to watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What Shiv said. Just... If you haven't seen Breaking Bad... Excuse me. If you haven't seen Breaking Bad, just go watch it. It's super worth. It's a great show. And, uh... I want to talk about it, but I don't want to be a spoilerino for people. Because there's actually a lot of people like me that haven't seen it that are just watching it now for some reason. Like, I know, um... I know my boy Pibim. PBM. He, uh... <clears throat> he watched it literally at the same time as I watched it, so... I don't know. Something's in the water, I guess. That makes you want to watch someone cooking meth. <clears throat> also, I just fought this guy last game. He was new wa, and uh, he started the same exact build. Actually, no, he started started conduit jump. But he goes, "What are you doing?" I don't know the game plan there, honestly. I don't know why you would assume that you can just walk up and nothing bad will happen. But anyways, he loves going Soul Gem on every mage, apparently. I don't think Soul Gem is that good. I don't think Soul Gem is bad, but not good enough to be like first bought on every mage. Hello. Ooh, 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 I miss. Look at that damage. Holy shit, dude. My god. I could actually kill him so easy if I, uh, if I Sam cornered him right now. That also feels slightly disrespectful two minutes into the game when I don't even have a finished item. So instead, I'm going to finish my item, buy a chalice, and now do it because it's less disrespectful. Also, can you believe I only have a gold border on Tsukiyomi? I know borders are like crazy hard to get. Like if you get a platinum border or anything higher than gold, it's like impressive. But 
still, I feel like I play Tsukuyumi so much and I don't really ever lose on him. So going or having just a gold border is crazy to me. Ouch. I wonder if I would die if I ulted him here. Probably. I missed. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. I just had to let my inner kid out just for a second. Dude. Okay, so I know some of you guys. There's been um, videos on my channel of... There's this little two-year-old girl named Leah who is the daughter of our neighbors who are also our friends who came over. And um, I don't get it. I really don't get it. But for some reason, not, not only her, but like every kid on the universe likes me. I don't fucking get it because I don't want kids. <laughs> like... I don't I don't want to be a dad. I don't want to I don't even want to be an uncle. Like <laughs> I don't want kids, but for some reason every kid no matter no matter where we go just wants to hang out with me. Like we went to a uh a Paris baguette which is it's based it's like a it's an Asian bakery, but it's like a chain of Asian bakeries. It's all over the world. And I was just sitting there drinking coffee with Shiv on one of my, my, you know, mental health days. And all of a sudden, this like super young, maybe, I don't know, maybe not even one. I don't like, I don't know how young they were. They were so young. Little, little Asian baby just walks over to me and just does this. Just stares at, just stares at me and does this. And then her, her dad comes over. Obviously I wave back because I'm not a demon, right? So I, wave, so I wave back like this. And then her dad comes over and is like, come on, come on. And then she just walks closer to me. She, she gets like she gets like a foot away from me just doing this. <laughs> I don't understand at all. Oh, yeah. Leah. Uh, I don't know what they're teaching Leah. <laughs> what, what our friends are. But we went over to their house yesterday. Hold on. I'm murdering someone. Oh! Never mind. I killed him. Um, I don't know what they're teaching her, but she took me by the hand. Leah did took me outside of their house and I had, and stood me on the driveway and said, stay there. And you know, obviously I stood there and then she has her dad by the hand and brings her dad out and then, st and he stands him next to me and then stares at us for a second and just goes snuggle. <laughs> like, like what? What the heck? And then I, I obviously I didn't snuggle him as much as I wanted to. It just felt inappropriate. And then, and then I just, so I shook his hand, right? Cause it was, they don't know what snuggling is, right? And she took our hands. She, she held our hands, pulled them apart and says, no snuggle. <laughs> like what the hell dude? I don't know. Kids are crazy. I was cracking up at Leah last night though. She just kept climbing up. I was sitting on a couch watching some fish show. And it wasn't just me, by the way. Every single person was in the room. Both of her parents, Shiv, me, and her grandmother. All in the room. And she just would crawl over to the couch, sit on my lap, and then show me a book that she wants me to read to her. And I shit you not, she brought like 12 books over. Anyways... That's the end of that. I just, I don't know why, but kids love me for some reason. <clears throat> oh, you're doing your blue buff, huh? What if I didn't let you? I'm dead. I'm deceased. I'm dead. Aegis. Never mind. I forgot I had blue stone. <gasps> Oh my god, I lived. I cannot believe it. 
Oh no. Oh my god, I lived again. <laughs> what the hell? I had less than 20 HP both of those times. That's insane. Also, I went to uh, this store called the World Market. I don't know if it's... I, I, I know there's one like in New York and places, so I don't know. But they had this syrup because Shiv has a latte machine. She makes me lattes every day. I know. I'm blessed. Whatever. Um, and there's a French toast syrup. And that's what I'm sipping on right now. It's pretty good. Um, I don't think it's my favorite latte, probably. Well, I don't know. That sip tasted pretty good. <laughs> the other sips did not taste as good as that one. I'll tell you that much. Anyways, I'm just talking about other things because playing Tsukiyomi is... I just I don't even have to really play. I just go into trance and all of a sudden I'm four kills up. I don't even really need to play the game when I play this character. It just plays it for me. Which is awesome. It's always great to have a character like that. Have a character that plays the game for you in your repertoire. Speaking of repertoire, I have been learning more chess recently again. I stopped for a while because when I had COVID and the flu back in January, um, <clears throat> I was like, I was very sickly. I, like, I did not feel good at all ever. Obviously, I mean, I had COVID and the flu, right? So naturally, my COVID brain said, hey, you're at your most intelligent. Let's play some chess. <laughs> so I did. I played seven chess games online. Lost every single one in a row. Hello? Lost every single one in a row. And then decided that, uh, well, I'm super stink at chess and I'm no longer going to play it. Can you not? Okay. I'm super stink at chess and I'm no longer going to play it. And I quit for three months. Just... Like, I just picked it back up maybe a week ago. So, I straight up just quit chess for three months after losing seven games in a row. And uh, I went from 11-10 rating down to 10-30. And I felt like a dumbass. <laughs> but, I'm learning again. I'm getting back into the rhythm. I'm playing the London. I'm playing the King's Indian. I'm playing the Karakhan. I'm playing the Sicilian. I'm learning things. Anyway, see you guys in game three. Yo, what's going on, boys? Game number three. How you guys doing? I just watched Adapting drop a fucking 4.5k damage 17 kill game solo in a duo game in Apex. And it just makes me sad because he's so much better than I'll ever fucking be. That's not true. I'll get there. I just need to practice. Need to pra he's been playing way longer than me. Obviously, I'm talking about Apex Legends. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, I'm going to go this into Berserker Shield because obviously it's just the best way to play when you are playing this character. And also... I'm going to go Sprint. <clears throat> he said, oh no, it's Try Hard Thursday. It's... Yes. It's Yes. <laughs> Uh, can I out-secure buffs? There is potential if I combo my mannequins with my three and my two. Un unfortunately for him, he's not even here, so I just get them for free. He's doing his blue. I wonder if he didn't go uh, mannequins, because that blue buff took quite a while. Boop, boop, boop. He didn't. He went Leather Cowl. Oh. Cowl is good. <clears throat> it's 20 power. It's a decent amount of attack speed. It's also a little bit of movement speed. It's a pretty good item. The only issue I have with Cowl is that it doesn't scale late as good as Mannequins or Boombas. It's a very good early game. I believe you might be deceased. Never mind. You're faster than me. I shouldn't have popped Sprint. I thought I had enough mana for my ult there, if I'm honest. So I just went a bit too a bit too hard. Actually, I'll stay here so I make sure I don't lose any aggro. 
Or any, uh, any XP. One auto on each of these is enough. You're going itch of all first item, which I thoroughly respect. I thoroughly respect. Never mind, that's an oboe. I no longer respect your decision. Why would you do that? Oboe first item? Damn. I wish I was as alpha as this guy. Like that, that's... <clears throat> Oboe first item is basically saying, Hey, dumbass. I'm making it to late game and there's nothing you can do to stop me. And once I'm there, this item's gonna fuck. You know? I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna clear with this item and I'm gonna make it to late game and there's nothing you can do about it. I wish I lived that that kind of confidence. Ah oh, fuck it. Oh, you're so much better than I am, holy. Oh, live! No, I didn't know the last tower shot was gonna hit me. That's so unfortunate. That's so unfortunate. I got first blood, which means literally nothing other than the fact that he maybe lost a little bit of gold in the tower while I was also beating his ass in the tower. So overall, it's a win for me, but not even because I killed him. It's only because he lost gold while I was beating him. Hello. I'm here to fight you. I'm no longer here to fight you. I'm here to live with my life. Where'd he go? But I actually don't even know where he went. Oh, I hear him doing his blue. Okay. That's so weird because I didn't see him go any direction. That is so weird, dude. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, Berserker Shield, 30 power, 60 protection. 25% attack speed. So I am... Very, very tanky, and I'm getting 22 power from my passive. That's what this is right here. Uh, if you don't know Vamana passive, which uh, surprisingly a lot of people don't know, it's physical protection. I think 15 or 20% of it. I'm not sure exactly the percentage. 20% uh, of it is converted into power, and then 10% of it is converted into attack speed. Oh no, don't live, don't live. Okay, that was close. I just want to make sure I read that right. Um, percentage of Vimana's physical protection is converted into physical power and attack speed, yeah. So it's pretty nuts, to say the least. It's just... You could stack six defensive items and still have decent attack speed and power. And not to mention, the reason you do more damage when you're in your alt is because your alt gives you protections and power. So you're you're getting like you're double dipping in the power department in your alt. All right, you don't really do any damage to me because you started oboe. I am slightly scared. Your traps are kind of good. So if uh, if we do make it to late game, we might have something there. But also, I am doing a lot of damage to you. You have no sustain. You might be going Aussie right now. I don't know. If you go Aussie, I still feel like I win the fight because you don't have much power at all. He's backed. I think I heard him. All right. <clears throat> I'm just going to walk in, clear this way real quick, and then dip. I missed. Oh, God. Don't go that way. Okay, nice. I'm backing. I got my haste and katana. And now the W keying starts. Now I pop sprint and I pop my alt, and there is no shot you get away from me at all. You're just straight up dead. I don't even know if I need to pop sprint when I alt, actually. But I'm going to. 
Well, I didn't pop sprint that time, but doesn't matter. Dude, it's so, it's so obnoxious. Holy shit. All I did was alt. I didn't hit him with anything prior. All I did was alt and I hit him for eight autos for 1200 HP and he died. Oh my God. Bro, I am doing so much. Vamana is so slept on, dude. He's so good. I've played, I want to say maybe... I don't know how many Vamana games I've played. Not too many of them. Maybe like four or five. But every single time I play him, I demolish and wonder why I don't play him more often. He's actually really fun to play. Like, you have a lot of outplay with his his three and his one. Like, the knock up on the one and then the double hit on the three. Not to mention, the items he has right now are so good. Oh, I hit him. Oh. I don't want him to actually back, but... I had no mana. And I thought maybe there was a shot that if I just walked at him, I could kill him. There probably was a shot, but I didn't want to risk it too much. Getting his ult was good enough for me. Uh, Serrated is obviously amazing, but I'm going to go stone cutting here because he still has no pen. I lied to you completely. He literally has Executioner. But whatever. Stone Cutting gives me 50 power. I'm down for it. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. Um, <clears throat> I think what I do is I just I just blink in and alt, right? And there's like, what the fuck is he going to do about it? Boom, boom. All right. Can the Titan 1v1 me? Okay, the Titan is beating my ass. Jesus. Please don't. Please don't. Nice. GG. Giga Gamer. A 9 minute and 23 second game on Try Hard Thursday where he didn't surrender. You love to see it. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in, uh, game number four. I think game number four. You there. Yo, what's up boys? Game number four. I am playing the only God that I know how to play well, which is Hades. And I'm fighting a Vimana, which is ridiculous because I just said how good Vimana is. Now I got to fight one for real. Tsk, tsk. Okay, question. If he alts me, and I alt him, I get more protections than he gets, but he gets more power than I do. Does he just heal through my alt while pumping me in the head? Or will my alt out damage his alt? I think he'll probably out heal it just because of the fact that he... Um... <clears throat> he, uh, gets the shield. Didn't think of the word. Yeah, he gets the shield. I'm. By the way, the reason I won three immediately is because I completely relied on the fact that he was going to do a blue buff. Hopefully, thankfully, I was correct. Yeah, my damage is much better than yours right now. I guess I have red buff, huh? And you started defense too. I will say the great thing about this matchup, just instantly, is that. Uh, you only get physical power and attack speed if you're building physical protections. It's not all protections. It's only physical. So that is one really nice thing. Oh, I thought maybe I could get that third tick off. If I got that third tick off on my ult, he definitely dies there. 
But, uh... Yeah, so him building magical defense, because I'm Hades, is not actually giving him power or attack speed. So he has to build pretty different in order to have just as good of a, a time against me rather than like a hunter per se which is great i have two buffs and the xp camp obviously he got his own blue buff couldn't stop him doing that but is what it is and he's going runic shield first item probably, which is going to lower my power significantly. But if I can get my, my book of thought online first, I should be fine. Like at least my clear will be fine. I don't think that I'll ever kill him. Okay. I don't, I really do not understand this, this right here. doesn't make sense to me because there's no way to ever kill me. another sunder i am way too tanky for you my dude i am way too tanky Oh my god, I didn't even take one tower shot? That should not have happened. Wait, why didn't I take a single tower shot? Or did I and I just healed through with my three? I don't know. That's weird. But anyways, we got the kill. Basically just because I kept my blight on him from auto attacking and he was really greedy with the lazy backs. As is right here. For some reason, he thinks I won't stop his back forever. Newsflash. I'm pretty strong compared to you right now. Oh god, I'm not as strong as you. I lied! Never mind, I'm way cooler than you are. Holy shit. My three did so much damage on those minions. That was... If I'm honest, complete luck. If I'm not honest, complete skill. <laughs> no, that was that was honestly just super fucking lucky. Did not have worked. Yo, what's good? You got my buff for me? Appreciate it, brother. Peace out. Girl Scout. Oh, nope. Not gonna knock me up. Ow. Okay. He sundered me and got ansiled, but then didn't didn't chase me. He didn't finish. He definitely could have. Don't hit me, please. Oh, I am I am super chilling now. I'm so healthy. I have so much pressure. God, Hades is OP. It's not like that's a secret or anything. Everyone already knew that, but sometimes it's just it just feels good to reiterate the point, you know? Like he's so strong. <laughs> Alright, I most definitely cannot kill him right now. He has defense, so... Let's just uh, count our blessings and... Clear these XP camps and then back out. And I'll go get Polly instead of Breastplate, actually. Just because I'm that confident right now. Yeah, this will crank up the volume. I'm that confident. He's going more defense, which isn't bad because he is three levels down and he needs to live. And honestly, you do enough damage with your alt. So it should be okay. Okay. My poly auto hits him for about 200. Is really nice. Not enough to kill or anything, but... <clears throat> Uh-oh. Yeah. Okay, you're definitely stronger than my ult. Okay. 
We ran. I really thought he would want to fight that. I guess he is a bit low, huh? I'm just going to keep him here. He doesn't have enough mana to clear effectively. Nor does he have enough HP to fight me effectively. And I have Shell too. All he has is Sunder, so... He's not feeling hot right now. Oh. Okay. I played that really wrong, and let me tell you why. I know I killed him, but it was wrong because I... <clears throat> Forgot that silence also silenced relics. When Ansile hit me and I couldn't shell and that tower shot was midair, I really thought I was dead. I got super lucky on the timing there. Because I, sh I should have died 100%. That is... Scary. That is scary lucky. But you know what? I deserve it. <laughs> I deserve it. I shouldn't. I shouldn't die. I'm way too good at this game to do that. This is the guy that got lucky and lived. You doing bold even? Oh, you're over there. All right. I'll go get Polly now, or not Polly. Uh, breastplate. Oh, hey, you want to fight? Want to fight again? I think I'm okay with this. Oh, damn. Damn. Good juke. I don't even know if I want... Am I lagging? I'm not. But for some reason, the game feels like... My abilities feel like they're going off really um, in like odd timings. I guess is the best way to say it. I don't know. But either way. Oh, he's getting that. So his his game plan is just silence the shit out of me. Silence with Ansile. Silence with the Amulet of Silence. Silence, 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 silence. And I'm not going... I'm not going defense. I'm just going to go full power. Honestly, he just doesn't scare me, which is the reason I am. Oh, thunder makes a cool sound. I didn't know it made that dope ass sound. Oh, you are so low, dude. Don't even tell me you're thinking about staying right now. Do not even tell me you're thinking about staying. You're so greedy. <laughs> honestly, honestly, and I don't say this often, you deserve that. You are so greedy, dude. Right, is this up? Your team has destroyed a middle enemy phoenix. Um, damn, I'm four yeah, levels up and 3,000 gold you. up. I am, I'm so far ahead. My gosh. You got Frenzy and Sunder. You got Frenzy and Sunder, but no haste and katana. I don't know. The build's just not there, dude. Oh, I'll fight you. Oh, he thought he he thought he could turn and fight, but I have divine ruin and Auk. You have ninety percent heal, or you have ten percent of your normal healing. No way you win that fight. GG on game four. That was also a super quick game. I mean, there's been a there's been a couple of quick games here. I think the uh, the first guy, the the Nuwa and the Discordia, were really good games. The other two have just been pretty quick. I uh, I'll see you guys in game number five. Yo, what's up, boys? It is the last. Uh, last game of Try Hard Thursday. And I'm hoping... <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I'm hoping that I have a... Uh... 
a good game here this for this last one now i'm gonna go bluestone and i'm just gonna go super fucking aggressive i don't know if this is a right play because i don't play loki often but i just feel like fighting a super aggressive loki early game is super fucking annoying and all four of my abilities do damage and normally that's that's a recipe for goodness if you go bluestone All right. Pretty sure I win this. Hell yeah. Massive first blood. He couldn't hear my uh my stealth. Is this skin really good for Loki? Cuz I know uh pay to win skins is massively important on Loki. I don't know what's good. I don't know which skin is good and which skin is bad. I just know that they are considered important. Thank you for the red buff. I don't care about the damage you deal. You better run away. Got my clear. Holy shit. My alt hit for 178, my one hit for another 100, and then my auto's just chunked. I... I'm doing a lot of damage right now. Jesus. Like, I knew, I knew, obviously, I knew Loki does a lot of damage. But starting Bluestone, I don't even know if I've ever done that. I normally go Boombas or Mannequins. Um, but starting Bluestone, you just feel so powerful early. It's insane. Did you do your blue? No? Where are you at? Did he quit? Did he give up? I did kill him two times in one minute. So it would make sense if he gave up. Um, I'm going to go check his base. <laughs> I'll go check his base and see if he gave up or not. His blue is still here. If he did, then I'll just cut to the next game. And he did. He quit. Okay. I'll see you guys next game. What's up, boys? Game number six. The final game of the video. Even if he leaves it after one minute. Because I honestly, I gotta hit the gym, man. I gotta go hit the gym. I, uh... I'm a little late. A little late. It'll be 11. Ugh. 11 by the time I make it to the gym. Jeez Louise. Fighting an Amaterasu. So I am playing set. I figured, you know, uh, I haven't played set in some time. And he's not horrible. I think he's definitely worse than he was. But he's not horrible. Um, I could go Bluestone, but I don't think that's very smart. And I think what I will do is go into Berserker Shield. Meditation, because I need mana. I'll get one of everything, and if we fight at level 3, I should come out on top because my 3 does give me 10% physical damage reduction. So, um, I should come out on top if we do fight. Because I have defense in my mannequins, defense in my going berserker shield, and I have percent mitigation in my 3. So, I don't think there's any world where he out damages me unless I super mess up and I miss my 1 or something. But if that happens, that's just on me, right? Like, that, there's... No other issue there other than me being bad at the video game. Alright. Got red. He's doing his... Uh, what is it called? His blue buff? But it's taking him a long time. I wonder... He didn't go mannequins, huh? I went blue stone. You horrific me? You realize it doesn't work, right? Horrific doesn't work against that because during his three he's slow immune it does slow my attack speed and it still reduce my damage output but it doesn't actually slow me so it's not easy to uh 
to juke me or or it's not easy to uh catch up and just consistently deal that damage output that you want to deal you still do not scare me at all there is no way you want to fight this what are you doing There's no way you win that fight. You, you like you gotta understand, man. There's no way. He's not even level five yet. I don't know. Uh, if he hits level five off that wave, then I can't fight him. I am considering fighting him again because I have my ult. But uh, actually, you know what, dude? Fuck it. Let's do it. If he wants to fight me. I don't know where he is. Alright. Alright. Oh, there you are. Hi. Using my three, even if I don't have anything to teleport to, is, is uh, smart for reducing damage. So, that's why I did it. You might have noticed there's there's no way I teleport anywhere and maybe using my one for the slow might have been smarter, but getting 10% damage off of his two is really smart for me to do. I have finished Berserker Shield. Obviously, he's going the same item. Uh, I would love if he dashed on me because there's no way he wins. Okay. Third kill in two minutes. Great clear. There's no farm on the map, so I'm kind of just waiting, man. Kind of waiting for him to do something. He's so far ahead right now. He did use his ult too, so... How much he can do there? I wonder if he's waiting for his Berserker shield. Or if maybe he gave up too. He left the game. <laughs> Your team okay, I'm I'm really sorry that the last two games were rage quits because I just beat them so hard. But I mean, that's what Try Hard Thursday is about. It's not, it's not about getting insane competitive games. It's about me try harding and you guys seeing what I do while I try hard, what the experience is. That's one of the top duelers try harding. You know, this is what happens. If I were to try hard every day, I would probably be within the top five in MMR. I would definitely get MMR capped. And this would be most of my day. People rage quitting or losing in less than 10 minutes. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I mean, that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, until next time, guys, peace.